Hey everyone, so this is going to be a full comparison between the best HTC phone of the year, the HTC 10, against the best OnePlus phone of the year, the OnePlus 3T. And I don't know why every time when I film the HTC 10 uh, facing down like this, it always tends to slide across the table by itself. A bit weird, doesn't matter what surface it's on, any flat surface, this table, the floor, another table, it's the only phone that always slides like this. So, a bit spooky, but nonetheless, a little bit interesting. So let's get started. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to power both these phones on at the same time. So as I mentioned, AC10 is the best HTC phone of the year. Now, they actually did manufacture the Google Pixel and the Pixel XL, although technically those are not uh, HTC phones, only manufactured them, no branding on it. Now, with the OnePlus 3T, uh, the phone just came out this week, so a lot newer than HTC10, which came out uh, beginning of the year. And the 3T is a follow-up to the OnePlus 3, which just came out a couple months ago. But at this point, yes, it's around three or four months. All right, so you're going to see here that the HTC uh, 10 is a little bit faster in the boot up. So with the OnePlus 3T, you do have this animation after putting your pin. But now we're up. All right, so all the apps are closed out. And like usual, guys, we're out playing for the video, app opening, game opening, web browsing, fingerprint scanner, multitasking, camera speed, and more. And first up, we're going to look at Temple Run 2. We're going to be doing some game opening and app opening. All right, Temple Run 2. So just because the OnePlus 3T is around 8 months, or I guess around 10 months newer, uh, you're getting several advantages I'll discuss throughout the video, the main one being a Snapdragon 821 processor. And on AC10, you have a Snapdragon 820 processor. Also, on the OnePlus 3T, you have 6GB RAM, which is really rare. On the, um, yeah, so on OnePlus 3T, 6GB, on HTC, you have 4. Alright, so that one pretty clearly goes to the OnePlus 3T. Next up, CNN. And this is one of those apps that's a lot of times really slow loading. We'll see if it works this time. Alright, so it looked like the one plus by a little bit. iFunny next. Alright, so again, one plus. YouTube. Alright, so that one goes to HCC. Next up, calculator. Clock, eBay, all right, so one plus, asphalt eight, so in terms of screen size, the AC10, you have 5.2 inches, 2K, uh, on one plus 3T, slightly larger screen in 5.5 inches, although lower resolution at 1080p. And see here, OnePlus pretty easily winning this test here. So yeah, you're really seeing the um, strength of the Snapdragon 21, especially with the games. Next up is going to be Photos. Again, OnePlus, ESPN. Alright, this one goes ATC. Settings. Uh, all right, so so far the majority of apps I think went to the um, OnePlus 3T, although HTC did win a few. Next up, I'm going to show you in two benchmark that I ran. So on HTC, you see a score of 140,589. Uh, I guess this is pretty typical for a high-end phone from this year, although it is on the lower end. I think most of these just came out uh, beginning of the year. Then with the OnePlus 3T, 163,434. This is the highest I've seen uh, for any Android phone. And look at the ranking. So you see it is only behind. Let's give it a second to load up. Yeah, so it's behind the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7, but ahead of all the Android phones. Alright, so we're going to be doing multitasking in a minute. Next up was the camera. 
So I will have an actual camera comparison on my channel in the future, but for now, uh, let's just take a look at how fast they snap pictures. All right, so it's gonna put them on, well, not gonna be on the same resolution. Uh, so maximum resolution on AC10 is uh, 12 megapixels. On OnePlus 3T, it is 16. Again, right now we're just testing out speed. Both obviously pretty fast. Not much of a difference for the most part, they're tying here. As you saw, a little bit of loading there on OnePlus 3T, but obviously for the most part, pretty close. All right, so next up, let's take a look at the web browser. And as soon as we go to some websites, I have not been to on either phone. So first up, let's go to uh, Clemson.edu. And then after this, we'll get fingerprint scanner and then multitasking. All right, Clemson.edu. All right, so this actually just loaded up a Google page, um, but as you saw, it was faster on uh, the One Plus. All right, let's try the Clemson football site then. All right, so Clemson Tigers football. All right, so again, you are seeing uh, the OnePlus here. And it's pretty much what I found in web browsing. I think the OnePlus 3, definitely fast web browsing. We'll do one more site and we'll move on. Uh, let's just do... Let's just do space.com. Not sure what exactly that reads to. Not sure if it's a NASA type site or what, but let's do it. Actually, we'll just do SpaceX, uh, Elon Musk company, because space not really giving a suggestion here. All right, SpaceX. All right, so again, you're seeing 3D here. All right, so next up, let's check out the fingerprint scanner. So on both these phones, I do like the fingerprint scanner. It is located in my favorite place, which is right here. So we're just gonna see how fast they are and accurate. Do that again. So as you're seeing with one plus three T, I mean, it's perfect. You cannot do better than this phone. With AC10, uh, still very, very good, definitely above average, but the OnePlus 3T, uh, this is the best you're going to get on any phone out there. You know, honestly, you can tell the AC10 is still great, but um, not as accurate and not as fast. All right, so last, let's take a look at some multitasking, and I'll also show you the design after that. So here we go with the multitasking. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Let's do Tump Run 2. All right, so that was pretty good for both. A little bit faster on the OnePlus CNN. Again, same thing. Now, on some of these phones, they'll like reload everything. On both of these so far, very, very impressive. Okay. And one last one, let's do Ash Fallout 8. 
So obviously both excellent. I mean, you're talking about fraction of a difference. Um, the one plus three T is a little bit faster, but again, not much of a difference at all. Um, let me show you guys the design on both these. So both made out of aluminum. Now, I think that the AC-10 is a little bit more comfortable to hold. Uh, I do actually prefer design on a 10 a little bit more. I think it just has more style on it if you look at the back. I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but I do prefer design of AC, uh, AC, HCC-10. Uh, nicer curves and everything, but it is a little bit bulkier. So both these phones, uh, on the bottom you see USB Type-C, both phones do have a headphone jack. Now on the HC-10 you are getting stereo speakers, uh, better quality speakers in my opinion. In terms of cameras, so I mentioned we are facing 12 megapixels on the 10, 16 on the OnePlus. Front facing camera, you're getting much better on the OnePlus at 16 megapixels versus 5 on HCC. Um, screen resolution, so HCC 5.2 inches 2K screen, OnePlus 3T 5.5 inches 1080p. Um, in terms of storage, HCC 10, uh, 32 or 64 gigabytes, uh, OnePlus 3T 64, 128. Although on HCC, you do have micro SD card support, on OnePlus you do not. Uh, the 10 has a 3000 capacity battery, the OnePlus has a 3400, so larger battery than OnePlus. I will do a video on that. Um, again, Snapdragon 820 on the 10, 4 GB of RAM on OnePlus 3. You are getting Snapdragon 821 and 6 GB of RAM. And that mostly wraps it up. Also, the 10 costs you around 530, uh, with the OnePlus 3T around 440. So you'll be saving about $90, maybe a little bit more on the OnePlus 3T. Um, so in terms of which one I prefer, I mean, it's a pretty tough call. Um, I think I would prefer the OnePlus 3T just because it is faster, it is newer, um, and also is cheaper. But, you know, overall, you I don't think you can go wrong either way with either one of the phones. The 10 is pretty underrated in my opinion. It's a good all-around phone, not many flaws, or really any flaws, aside from if you consider, um, like, not having waterproofing or something like that. But the OnePlus doesn't have it either. And then also you are getting a couple of advantages on the 10, like you're getting the 2K screen. Uh, you do have micro SD card support. You do have a better speaker. Uh, and in my opinion, a little bit better design. But overall, can't go wrong either way. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Uh, please subscribe to this in the future. I will be doing a rematch for these two phones once the uh, Android N comes out for both of them. And I will be doing a lot more comparisons with both these phones versus other major phones. All right, guys, thanks again for watching.